Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. What is up with Coinbase? We see here trade XRP today. Create a Coinbase account and buy and sell XRP on the most secure crypto exchange. Is Coinbase getting ready to relist XRP? Or maybe they're waiting until the SEC case ends. Maybe it's wrapping up. But I know this. Coinbase is not going to miss out on all that FOMO money that pours into XRP once that case comes to a conclusion. It's not too late to get out of anything created or related to crypto, says Jim Cramer. He goes on to say, good chance again to get out of crypto and scale out of Chinese stocks as neither can be trusted. Now this guy is on a full-blown get retail out of crypto agenda in my opinion he wants to fudge you out of it but wait and see what happens when this market turns around when those green candles start start showing up inside of crypto again all of a sudden he'll be saying now's the time to get into crypto buy these cryptocurrencies or you're going to miss out on a greatest opportunity of your life watch and see it happened in the past New analyst shows Binance is bleeding assets at a dangerous rate, with over $12 billion vanishing in less than 60 days, much worse than CEO CZ indicated last month. Now, I always said it, I don't trust Binance. CZ is not being fully transparent, in my opinion. But on the other hand, I don't want Binance to fall, especially at a time like this. It would absolutely be catastrophic for crypto. XRP and Ethereum are seeing a huge spike in positive sentiment on their networks. So the euphoric crowd sentiment on XRP and Ethereum could be the result of short-term performance of Ethereum and a series of important strategic partnerships for XRP, which led to a rise in positive attitudes among investors. Unfortunately, it is hard to tell if the short-term occurrence of euphoric tendencies among investors will lead to anything. Now, as an XRP investor, I am starting to get euphoric because a lot of big things are about to happen. Flare is going live, finally. We also know that the SEC case has to wrap up by the end of March. ISO is also going live at the end of March. Big things for XRP holders. I think the market's going to turn around very soon. If the DXY breaks $1.3.38, to the downside, I strongly suspect we're going to get some crypto god candles this week. And like I said in the past, anytime the US dollar falls in value, crypto and the stock market takes off. And I believe that's starting to happen little by little. But once the US dollar falls below a dollar, look out. Because then it'll become unstable and all of a sudden crypto will definitely rise in value. What we have, real crappy assets. What we need, tokenized real world assets. USDC is the tip of the spear. Now, everybody's talking about tokenizing things because right now, people feel that NFTs aren't enough. They feel that we need to tokenize real world things such as maybe, you know, real estate or maybe vehicles at some point as well. Something that has physical value. And I think that's a, right around the corner. It's just a matter of time. They want to tokenize trees and water and the air we breathe at some point. Ripple wants to tokenize time. And I feel that's going to happen sometime in 2023 as well. The SEC and Eastern District of New York are investigating into money flowing between DCG and Genesis. Crypto empire D DCG faces U.S. investigation over internal transfers. Here we go again. But again, it's like every little thing. It doesn't even pertain to any of our holdings. We hold ISO coins. They're not affected by any news that actually comes out. And I showed in a video yesterday why they could possibly be very undervalued. It's because metal, precious metals have to go through a reassessment, get a different value put on them. And I b believe it's all going to happen this year as well. I believe at some point we could hear the ISO coins are getting backed by precious metals. They want to make them stable coins at some point. So the lawsuit is about to end. First digital asset with clarity hasn't hit a new all-time high. Real utility, three-second transactions, unique XRP ledger tech, XLS20 running smooth. 
mom-and-pop partnerships, powerful banks and corps, best community, the smartest people behind Ripple, too big to fail, all the money. And that's what we have to look forward to, all the money moving throughout the world, all that on-demand liquidity going live all at once. That could be the flip of the switch moment as well. But everything looks really good right now. It's like one of those things that you're waiting patiently for it to happen, and it could happen literally any day. Ripple execs eight crypto predictions to watch in 2023. Here's a likely scenario. So first, 2023 might see institutional adoption of blockchain and digital assets accelerate as corporations launch pilots and continue to investigate the technology. Second, Young predicts increased crypto industry consolidation as healthier companies make acquisitions to plug gaps in their capabilities. Third, in 2023, there might be an increasing trend for cryptocurrency and blockchain firms to be acquired by traditional financial service players as well as established companies from other sectors. You see what I've been saying all along? Ripple's not only looking at the banks, they're looking at those big companies as well. Fourth, Ripple's top executive expects the sustainability credentials of crypto and blockchain to see continued scrutiny by consumers and policymakers. She believes greater sustainability will be achieved with less energy intensive blockchains and blockchain enabled solutions such as the tokenization of carbon credits. I knew that was coming because that's what it's coming down to right now. It's all about carbon credits and Bitcoin is not does not fit in in any way. It's not going to be part of the future. That's why Ripple is always talking about carbon credits as well, because that's going to become a massive market. It's going to grow in value year over year. Fleetcore is a Ripple partner. Today, Fleetcore processes cross-border payments in more than 145 currencies for approximately 27,000 customers worldwide. And it's always new, more and more announcements. And it might not be direct partnerships, but it's a partner of a partner of Ripple, or it's a partner of this bank, which is also tied to Ripple. You see how it's all forming, coming together, that massive network. I stress it all the time, because if you look at it, you could actually make sense of what's going on. It all leads to that new financial system. Fed's Bostic rates will have to remain above 5%, for an extended period of time well into 2024 and i believe he's going to raise rates again in february and i think he's probably going to do it for march and april as well then he might pivot a little because fed now is going to happen sometime between june and july in my opinion so banks to crypto is one step closer by the fed and that's the other thing crypto is going to come to the banks i say it all the time people say you know, they're never going to use crypto at the local bank. At some point, they're going to have to because the banks don't want to get be left behind in any way. And they know crypto is the future. The banks know this. But if you were to go in and speak to any bank manager right now, they're going to try to get you into an IRA or a CD. When you mention crypto, the first thing they say, it's so volatile. You know how long that's been a word inside of crypto? Or anyone outside of crypto i don't want to invest now it's too volatile i don't want to lose any money but people are going to start to understand about stable coins very soon they're going to be utilizing xrp on a daily basis and not even know they're utilizing it and all those people that still say if i can hold it in my hand it's not real they're about to get a very big surprise when all of a sudden a lot of us are cashing out our crypto and you know having massive amounts of wealth because that's how the world works. You have people that have enough vision to see what's coming, and you'll always have people that are blind to what's coming. And no matter how many times you try to tell somebody, listen, now's the time you can make guaranteed life-changing money today by investing in this crypto or that crypto. They'll always come back with the same ideas. And it's always the same answers. Why would I ever invest in Monopoly money? Well, then you better not go to the bank because guess what? You're, if you hit the ATM today, all you got was monopoly money because the U.S. dollar is propped up by nothing. And at some point, the ability to print money in the U.S. will come to an end. And the new financial system 
will be closer than any of us could even imagine. I believe it's going to happen probably within the next year to two years. And we're going to be seeing the CBDC system up and running throughout the entire world. Everything is leading that way. And it's moving faster now than it has ever moved in the past. I said it in videos back in the summer. Once Russia talked about a CBDC and how they were fast-tracking everything, it changed the whole timeline for that new financial system to roll out. And it sure did. Because even the Fed is now on board, as well as the every other bank in every other country. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.